my rock and my fortress. Psalms 18, verse 1 through 3. I love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. My God, my rock, and whom I take refuge. My shield and the horn of my salvation. My stronghold. I call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. And I am saved from my enemies. Welcome to City Life Kids Online. I am so pumped to be here with you guys. Real quick, I need your help. I need you to chant this with me, okay? Kid City, where you at? Right here. Kid City, where you at? Right here. Kid City, where you at? Right here. One more time. Kid City, where you at? Right here. Man, today we got some awesome things packed in for you. But before we get started with that, we know that God says that we are loved, we are smart, we're important, and we're the future. But did you know that God also says that you belong and have purpose? He says that about you, that you are loved, belong, and have purpose. You are loved, belong, and have purpose. Come on, say it with me, say it with me. I am loved, belong, and have purpose. I am loved, belong, and have purpose. Yes. Man, today, as we dive into our story, we're going to be learning about the Great Commission. Whoa, 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 whoa. I know, I know. That word's a big word for some of us. Well, commission is another word for instruction or directions. And we're going to be learning about Jesus' directions that he had for his friends, better known as the disciples, and many other people. So let's check out our video today. God's Masterpiece God is with us. This is Jesus. hey -o. Jesus is the Savior of the world and the Son of God. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. But some people did not like what Jesus was doing, and they put him to death. He died on a cross and was buried in a tomb. For three days, Jesus' body laid in that tomb, and it seemed that there was no hope. But very early on Sunday morning, the woman who cared for Jesus went to go visit his body, found that his tomb was empty, and that he was no longer there. Ah! For he was risen. He was alive. Woohoo! Huh? hey -o. And then for the next 40 days, Jesus appeared to his disciples and many others and showed them that he was alive and well. He taught them that what he did was the only way that they could be forgiven and be with God forever. Jesus told his disciples that he did all the things that God had told everyone that he would do, and the disciples understood what he was saying. Yep, that makes sense. He told them that he would send the Holy Spirit just as God had promised to be their helper. Sounds good. After Jesus had spent 40 days with the disciples and appeared to many people, hey, that's it. he led the disciples to a place called Bethany. Jesus blessed the disciples and told them to go out and tell the whole world about him and the good news of forgiveness and make disciples of them. Then he said, be sure of this, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Then Jesus was taken into heaven to sit at the right hand of God. Not long after that, the Holy Spirit did come to the disciples to be their helper. The disciples knew that God would truly be with them always. And the Holy Spirit is still with us today, for Jesus promised that he would be with us to the end of the age, and he is. Wow, wasn't that video so awesome? Jesus spent 40 days with many people. Just like we talked about on Easter Sunday, Jesus died on the cross, 
he was buried, and then he rose again. And he came back to tell his friends, better known as the disciples, and many others to tell the whole world about him. Everyone. And he said this important thing, that God is always with us. How cool is that? So I don't have to be afraid because God is always with me. And he's always with you. So just remember in times where we feel so afraid or even alone, God is always with us. about the Great Commission and how our most important job is to tell other people about Jesus. So today, we're gonna show you what it looks like when you tell people about Jesus. Yes, so this is a domino and it represents you. And, and, you, and you know Jesus. And you know Jesus, yeah. And then the, we're gonna say this is Ty, a kid from Florida. But we're gonna put him over here for now. Yep, and then this is your best friend from school. And this is the best friend's brother. Yep. This is their mother. And then this is the mother's neighbor who is also best friends with Ty. So we're going to put it here and then we'll put Ty right here. Yes. So this is what happens when you tell one person about mm -hmm. Jesus and then that person tells one person about Jesus. Watch what happens, guys. Mm -hmm. So wait, you're telling me when you tell your best friend or somebody about Jesus and then they tell somebody, it can get all the way to Ty who's in Florida? Yeah. Like in another state? Yep. Once one wow. person learns about Jesus, they want to tell everyone about Jesus. Wow, so when Ty knows about Jesus, we should show them what he can do when Ty can reach other people, how many people he can reach. Let's do it. Okay, let's okay. Do it. put this Ty right here. So guys, when you tell just one person about Jesus, and they tell one person about mm -hmm. Jesus, you create a domino effect, okay. and all of these people meet Jesus. Wow, that was all from just one person. They, can you imagine if we told more? Yeah, that's the yeah. Great Commission lived out, is telling every single person, from friends yes. to family yep. to your cousins, whoever, that's what it is. We have to tell every person we know about Jesus and how he yep. is the love in our heart. Um, and our peace and our joy. Yeah. yeah. So you guys learned today about the Great Commission and how it's the most important job that we have is to share with other people about Jesus. So I hope that you take that with you and you learned a lot today and just go out there and tell people about Jesus and love on them. Yeah. All right. We'll see you guys next week. What's up, guys? Yo. We learned some really cool stuff today, and so we wanted to give you a quick quiz to see if you're paying attention. It's gonna be three questions. Are you ready? Okay, let's do this. Question number one. When Jesus rose, who did he go see? I'll give you a couple seconds. Three, two, one. You got it? Okay, here we go. The answer is, the women, the disciples, and hundreds of people. Yeah, Jesus rose in the flesh. So cool, right? All right, if you got that one, you're pretty smart. Let's try a little bit harder question, okay? Put your thinking caps on. When Jesus was going to see God the Father, he said he was gonna send somebody to the disciples. Who was that person? I'll give you a few seconds. You got it? All right, drum roll, please. The answer is the Holy Spirit. Hey, God's always with us because the Holy Spirit's always with us. All right, last question, question number three. Here we go. This one's gonna be the hardest one. I'll give you a hint. The answer is a really long word, okay? Here we go. The last thing that Jesus told his disciples to do before he went to heaven was what? What was the one job description? I'll give you a couple seconds. The Great Commission. He said, make disciples of all nations, all races, all faces. And why can we do that? Because God is always with us. Let's say that together. God is always with us. One more time. God is always with us. You guys are so smart. You went three for three. Good job. Can't wait to see you next week. Thanks. Is it good? Yeah. Is he good? Is he good? That is so misunderstood. Is he good? Is he good? And we got that understood. Yeah, he good. 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 Is he good? Is he good? Yeah, we got that understood. Is he good? Is
Cause he good, watch that so misunderstood Yeah, he's good, yeah Thank you so much for joining us today. Tune in next week on Wednesday at 6 p.m. for our City Life Kids Church service. And remember, you are loved, belong, and have purpose. Bye, guys. <laughs>